What's up everybody, it's Epsilon Chibuwa fan. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the Nintendo June Direct 2022. So far, you know, let me say this. I hope that this video has, you know, more updates similar to like Mario Kart DLC. Maybe they announce a battle mode courses and stuff. I hope we get The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, you know, the sequel. Um, a little bit of that. You know, I have... Um, try to avoid spoilers leading up to this i was watching it you know a little bit and then i saw a game that really was like okay if this is coming to switch i don't know you know like they have to have something very very special towards the end so i stopped the video watching it and said let me do this you know watch it like this with everyone else so let's get into this uh yeah, I'm, I'm uh, explain which video it is once it comes up. Now, uh, this, I'm be skipping through, so it's not that very you know long. long. I'm gonna give my opinions on little bits oh, of the game. Like I've seen a lot of gameplay of this game, for example. Yeah. They come rushing here in a desperate attempt to You know, it's supposed to be like this open world fighting game. I think this is pretty cool. Um I personally was not that into it. I've seen like games come out of the this game series I believe this is it. Oh is it? it it looks nice, you know, don't get me wrong. Looks uh, creative. I see it from the gameplay I've seen, the live streams I've seen of this game. It's good, but it it just I played games like just back in like the PS3 era and you know around early 2000s, and it didn't get to me. So I, yeah, and I played a few of them. So I really tried to get into it years ago, but uh, maybe. You know, Monster Hunter, yes, that was the serious name. And I, I remember I was thinking about getting the last one and it really didn't get to me, you know, that much. It, it does look like an interesting game, don't get me wrong. Leave in the comments if you play Monster Hunter. <laughs> what I could say is, it looks like... It has like a challenging and interesting, you know, story. But hmm, no boss fights. Yeah, the boss fights. It looks like challenging, and I love the challenging boss fights in games. <laughs> oh, it's coming up. This is where this trailer. After this one, I just stopped and just said, "Must make a video on this." Wait. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Show. So, in this presentation, uh, we'll be focusing You know, on this Nintendo is another Switch thing, you know, don't get me wrong. Nintendo Direct Mini is cool, but I want a full on Direct, you know. Okay, let's get into the headlines. I hope they do that, you know, later this year. This is it. To reclaim Earth begins. This is it. This is where I just stopped. I was like, I bust. The year is 5012 AD. Machine life forms have overwhelmed the I love the Causing the collapse of civilization and forcing humans to take refuge on hmm. the moon. Why did it take you now, so long, Nintendo? Dorha, you know, like Nintendo Switch has been selling very invaders. well throughout the years. And it's been very popular. You see big titles come to Switch. And, and oh, amazing. And a scanner android. And then, you know, I'm surprised it took so long for this game to come to Switch. I was like, yo, what? Machine life forms in conflict with androids. Yeah, this, I played this game so much. So much when it came out. This version of the award winning Near Automata comes with previously released content, including additional oh. modes and costumes. New costumes exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version will also be available at launch. Reclaim Earth in Near Automata. 
the end of Yorha edition, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 6th. Nice. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. One thing, a few things I want to say. Number one, I'm going to predict, and I hope this happens, like, uh, they have, like, the suits of, like, Nintendo characters. For example, like, you know, 9S is, like, Link, and then 2B could be, like, Samus. Like, that would be pretty cool, you know, if they did something like that. And so, yeah, but besides that, I'm happy. Why did it take so long? Like, this is, like, Nintendo Switch has been very popular since its launch. You know, this has been, compared to the fucking Wii U, you know what I mean? But this has been, like wow you know nintendo switch and it took this long to come i understand you know you know they even you know it could handle this game you know i i believe and i was just surprised i was like yo it took you this long nintendo and i mean screen Enix, and you know i don't know i personally would have loved this game a day one but i've been playing this game on the ps4 you know it's been like um just so long you know I beat this game many times. This is one of my most played PlayStation 4 games. It's possibly my favorite single player game in the PlayStation 4. And yeah, if I made like a top 20, top 10 PS4 games, this is definitely, you know, when it comes to single player, it's one that really stands out right away, I could name it. And I hope this one gets a sequel. Breath of the Wilds getting a sequel. I want this to get a sequel. Both of them came out around the same time. I personally, you know, like, if Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey did not come out in 2017, Neo Automata's going to... That would have been my game of the year, my favorite game, you know. But I personally enjoyed Breath of the Wild a little bit more because, um, yeah, wow. But Neo Automata is such a wonderful game, you know. Definitely, definitely the best PS4 game of that year. So let's continue on. <sighs> ah, I'm just... Yeah, I'll get this. You know what? If it's not like a crazy price and it's actually, you know, just, you know, oh, this looks interesting. More mystery. <laughs> I believe, correct, I'm a predict this is like an indie game. immerse yourself in surreal riddles and a chilling story in this modern take on puzzle adventure games. Oh, I predict this is like an indie game. It's probably gonna be like around thirty dollars or something. Solve the enigma of Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next year. Nice. I'm not interested, but okay. Faces are a Classic characters on these games. Classic characters on Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna predict something. I'm a bit, uh, please give us F Zero, Captain Falcon, a new Star Fox game, um, and um, yeah, you know, just please, like, just uh, give us a little bit of a baby trailer. I mean, tree uh, teaser. Give us a baby teaser of the next Metroid game as well. And please, yeah, that's that's all I got. <laughs> and Bob. <laughs> It's fun, but unfortunately, you know, no, let me say this. I loved Bom Super Bomberman on, oh, okay? A lot of people used to talk shit and this and that, but let me say this. I loved this game. Unfortunately, the online mode wasn't, like, that filled. I I did play online mode on, I believe, the first game I had for the, yeah, I played, um, I they, this is like a PlayStation Plus game of this month, so I was playing it on PS5 online, and it's not a lot of people online mode, so hopefully this one has a lot of people online. And I could be playing it even more. Single player wise, it's cool. You know, I love the Bomberman series. It's amazing. Konami, one of Konami's best, you know, in my opinion. So let's continue. A bombastic new mode called Castle Mode enters the fray. A team of up to 15 players must blast their way to treasure chests. While one defending player tries to hold them off. Set up your defense wisely to blow away opponents. Literally. You can also create and share your own battle stages. Have a blast. When Super Bomberman R2 launches on Nintendo Stages. Have a blast. When Super <laughs> Bomberman Chibi R2 work. launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Oh, this is next year. 10 Mega Man nice. Battle Network games originally... I heard about the Battle Network series. Like, this is interesting too. I'm 
I'm into Waste this. On the Game Boy Advance system are coming to Nintendo Switch. Control Mega Man in grid-based combat and use battle chips to gain devastating abilities. This collection includes a gallery mm. with over 1,000 illustrations and a music mode containing over 150 songs from across the series. That's pretty Mega cool. Battle I enjoy Legacy these, you know, collection. collections. On Nintendo Switch next year. The full collection will also I could not find the Capcom coin collection two, recently. Oh, the Pokemon. Yeah, yo. Like, the Street Fighter collection. I went to three separate stores yesterday. Could not find it. I went to the Pocky and Walkie one as well. Just wanted to put that out a there. Remake of Pac Man World is coming soon. Nice. Yo, I was talking about this too. You know, I, I have a video recorded. And I this was before, like um everything. It's relating to the recent Pac-Man uh, thing. I'll have it uploaded this today or maybe tomorrow, you know. But yeah, and during the unboxing, I talk about this. You know, Bandai Namco should like Pac-Man World and put like a trilogy or all of them in one bundle. But this seems like just one game. Pac-Man's family have been kidnapped. To rescue them, he sets off for Ghost Island. Eating dogs I have the original. Enemies with pack dots, the rev roll, the butt bounce, and a giant pack man yeah. from high speed chases mega to the galactic. I think that's what it's called, like the big ass Pikachu. All sorts of zany levels. Save the pack uh, fan. I love pac this. World I love how pack man's getting low. Nintendo Switch, August 26th. Yeah, I'm happy. Hopefully, they have like more Pac Man games, like Pac Man World, journey. like new ones. A fawn and a wolf cub mm. must work together to find a way home across the snowy wilderness in the handcrafted world of Blanc. Blanc is this. In this emotional adventure, these yeah. unlikely friends okay. must coordinate and use their individual strengths. Leave me in the comments. Do you guys, do you all like play these indie wilds. like games? I personally like more Blanc of the third party. I, you know, the AAA, I think play. they call it. Yeah. So all players can enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. Like, uh, you know, good luck to all these small indie creators. You know, you know I'm not trying to. Forge an unexpected bond in Blanc. <laughs> Blanc. Launching as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch, February 2023. Mm, that's nice. Arr, a swashbuckling adventure oh, returns. Okay. Mm. Pirating is in my blood, like adrenaline. Or I'm um. I've been in enough scraps. For when it comes to these kitty get like games i'm not really Lights. into it so i'm gonna just skip a little bit <clears throat> so here we go i saw a little bit of what's next for consoles on nintendo switch this year next we have some news about a game that was announced last june please take a look Mario and the Rabbit blast off for a galactic adventure in the latest Mario Plus Why Rabbit doesn't Nintendo game? just purchase the rabbits at this point? Space like, I remember back in the Wii and Wii U days, like, seeing a lot of trills on TV. Like, I didn't get the Wii U, but I had a Wii. And I, I remember, what was it, the first game looked interesting. You know, I was like, well, okay, this is a new game, you know, idea. You know, this is nice. Uh, are they trying something new? I never played it. Initiate a turn-based battle when you encounter an enemy. Before we begin, here's something you ought to know. You can freely move around the battlefield as much cool. as you'd like within your character's range you know, before I, using their weapon. Pretty neat, huh? The only way I would purchase this type of game to try it out is if like they have a demo for me to try it out i want to try out a video game before purchasing it i enjoy that demos betas etc because a lot of stores what they do is and even online you know you, you buy a game and then like say if you don't like it they say oh you could only give you install credit or this and that and then you just wasted 60 plus tax or 70 you know if you're getting a ps5 game and then it's like Mm. so that that's why I, and you enjoy betas and demos you know it gives you a feel of course the actual game is going to be more polished and you know well good 
but um, you know, just to get an idea. For example, someone who never played Pac-Man, and then Pac-Man is like, say, twenty dollars in the store, and you're like, uh, do I really want to spend twenty dollars on a game that came out in 1980? And then it's like, okay, here's the, uh, yeah, here's the uh, game demo. So you play it, and it's like, nice. And then, you know, yeah, demos and betas are cool. Hopefully, Nintendo has one. One thing I would say good about this series is that, uh, you know, it's interesting how you can put certain characters in certain spots, and it's more like a tactical, you know, game. So they gave, they gave them a gun. Check out Ubisoft's special <laughs> showcase tomorrow for more details about Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. I think because this is a mini direct, then I don't expect them. The I don't expect them to do like Splatoon 3 stuff because it says a mini partner. And uh, I hope that, you know, I hope Nintendo has like full on direct later on. And we get Splatoon 3 stuff. I'm really hyped Mario up for that one. I'm happy. I love Splatoon 2. Didn't get a Wii U, so I haven't played the first one. Played a little bit of the demo though. For it's a good story. I believe it was done. During a storm, uh. young alchemist Noah crash lands in ancient ruins. The layout of these multi-layered ruins changes. I'm gonna give it a few seconds. Reminds me of the Final Fantasy. World art style wise, and yeah, like that. Chibi love. Little Noah, Scion of Paradise, launches a Nintendo Switch <laughs> later today. That's nice, you know. You're All interested in okay, no train games. I'm not into that. Sorry about that. Spin dash into Let's do a this. New zone. No way. Sonic's latest action adventure. Oh, I thought it was going to be never mind. To a mysterious civilization. Let's see. Here, you can freely dash through a vast open zone. I remember the controversy relating the first trailer. Lock on and attack enemies standing in your way. Chain together attacks to trigger combos and rack up damage. With good timing, you can even deflect enemy attacks. Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's arsenal of moves. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You know, I'm enjoying this. You can also enter a special you know, zone like, called Cyberspace. Uh, the one in, in this and that. Take like, on challenges okay. at supersonic speeds. Uh, and grab keys to progress. I hope this game comes out nice. You know, like, you know, there's no... Take your time, Sega. You're not long story short. Take your time. This looks really interesting. This looks really fun. It's all this nice, and the logo itself looks. Just look, this is amazing. I love it. Sega, take your time. Make sure to develop this good. You know, no bugs, none. This game must. You know, I hope this game releases perfectly. Yo, you gotta be choked. I know this is the Nintendo console. I think that's going to be the last one uh, when it comes down to. Oh, this looks like a cool game. These adventures with you on the go. Live Alive is coming alive on July 22nd. Multiple stories featuring different protagonists, time periods, and gameplay await. Now in HD 2D. A demo with the start of three chapters, Imperial China, Twilight of Edo Japan, hmm. and The Distant Future will be available on Nintendo Guess Wii Shop You know today. what would be interesting and nice? You know how, like, they, for example, the they made a, they got, like, old bound on Super Nintendo. I hope they, they make a deal with Capcom because it seems, it seems like Capcom with the, what was it, Monster Hunter? I believe that was Capcom, right? Um, I believe so. Yeah, I believe this is a Capcom title, the... The Monster Hunter. I hope they make like a deal and say, yo, can we uh, 
you know, come together. We could make something. Uh, I believe it was, what was it again? Yeah, Chrono Trigger. Yeah, bring Chrono Trigger to the Nintendo Switch as like a remake. Or maybe you put it on the a part of the N Super Nintendo, you know, yearly, no you know, thing. And decide to help a new friend fulfill his dreams by farming, plow the fields, harvest crops, and tend to the animals. You can even use Doraemon's secret gadgets to farm in a flat. I haven't watched what it. What secrets await in this new yet familiar hmm? universe? Minecraft Legends launches on Nintendo Switch next year. It's a treasure hunter's paradise. Okay, looks interesting. Two siblings dream of collecting grand treasures from around the world. Treasure yeah. to the realm of Draconia to become legendary treasure hunters. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I might get this one. Screen Enix usually knows how to make games really great. But recently, those, those Final Fantasies. Like, you know what? I, I think this is it. This is. This looks cool. And you. Yeah, this looks really good. <clears throat> Bam. Mm -hmm. Oh, just skipping through everything now. Okay. I, you know, I am really, really excited for Neo Automata. I'm really excited for Sonic and Tails. I'm really excited. I I'm gonna try that Monster Hunter game. I mean, that, uh, what was it? What was this one? Dragon Quest. You know, I'm gonna try that one now. Uh, the Monster Hunter, I'm not sure. Like, it's not, it didn't really get to me, you know. Um... Maybe if it's like really cheap one day, you like I'm saying. Have so much fun together. At first, your participation is appreciated. Oh, not this one. A peaceful village where seasons screen exists. Your story begins here in this brand new life simulation RPG. Do a little farm work. Okay. <laughs> Cook and craft items. Through the I would, like you know, it would be interesting because they got Neo Automata to work on Switch. Would you get Street Fighter Five to work on Switch? That would be funny, but I know they won't do that. That's a Sony PlayStation exclusive when it comes down to the consoles. However, they will give way to the season of death. Quietus. Crops wither. Life is threatened. So. I think it's interesting. Find yeah. a way to stop the Looks nice. From wreaking havoc on your home. Looks like a good game. Looks like it's um one that's going to be maybe hopefully challenging. I'm not seeing that much of action going on. Just a little bit with that you know, here and there. Okay. Yep. Of the village depends on you. It's going to have a physical release of digital Begin arms. your new life in Harvestella. Launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. Hmm. This next segment will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Metroid teaser. F-Zero teaser. More more information about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like the next thing. You know, what's the next course is coming out. Um, yeah, pretty much I'm going to be looking forward to for that. I hope that's that. My little prediction. Okay, I think we're done here. <laughs> yeah. Like I already got Persona Arena, you know, for Arena Ultimax. Like that one is amazing. I love it. So that was the only Persona like game. I oh, 
I also got a little spoiled of this. Every, out of everything, this is what I've been spoiled of. So I, I already know. Wait, what? Comes out on my birthday? <laughs> Yo. That's what's up. October 21st. If it has Persona 3, I believe, with Mitsuru and Chie's, I believe that was 4, might be 1. Yeah, 3 and 4. I, I believe this is like a remix. Yep. Persona 5 Royal will launch at the Nintendo Switch October 21st. And that's not all. Please Let's have the same list of. Come on. Nice baton pass, Morgana. Don't. Come on. Okay, everyone. Check this out. Press us. Yes. Yes. Check this out. Look how cool this game looks. Best look. Yes. Persona 4 Golden. Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 Portable. Yes. Are also coming. Chie and Mitsuru. This. This is amazing. This is wonderful. This is what I want. This is what I've been talking when I did an unboxing and a review of my Persona, uh, what was it, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax for PS5, I said, you know, I hope they remastered these Persona 3, Persona 4, and these old classic games, you know, the Persona series, because they're too much money, you know, too expensive retro games nowadays, and they did it. Now, I'm personally going to get it for PS5. Nintendo, you did this to yourself. I told you many times, you need to have a way to live stream or record gameplay within your console sony does it nintendo you could do it you have the money you have the resources as well but i will probably maybe i'll get it you know if it's cheap you know like under a brand new game price then okay i don't mind buying two copies i did it with the persona ultimate so oh so wonderful thank you for watching Man, let's see. Near the mark. Yeah. And then you go in a little overview. Pac Man. Oh, it's Sonic. Near the mark. Pac Man. Mega Man. Uh, you know, Persona. Yeah. You know, let me just leave it in this view and end it off like this. You know, after watching all of this Nintendo Mini Direct Mini Partnership show, uh, you know, it's it was wonderful. You know, I believe that as long as there's a few games that truly stand out and that truly makes an impact, that's enough. Like, you could have 100 games and then, like, say, 20 of them out of the 100 is really interesting, surprising. And, like, this, for example, you know, Persona Remix. And I love this. I personally love this. And like I said, I'm probably, like, okay, I think I'm probably going to buy for PS4 and Switch the Persona stuff and, you know, because I want to, you know, live stream, I want to do stuff with this, you know, record my gameplay and stuff. It looks looks interesting and fun, but um, wonderful. I loved this. This one was interesting. Nintendo, thank you very much for giving us, you know, some persona, you know. <laughs> you know, Atlas, thank you as well. You know, this is pretty cool. Um, I believe, did Sony have one of these uh, networks or something? I'm not sure, but... Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me in the comments, which games are you most excited for out of all of this, out of all of these? Persona and just in general, in general, whatever they showed here. So leave it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, bye.